Hello once again, I did mention in our last episode that we would be going down to the earth and that is indeed what I'm going to be doing. Uh, although I went down to the earth a lot faster in previous times, that was because I was silly. Uh, it's kind of advised that you get a decent military with decent equipment before you really go down. At the minute I don't actually have anything to equip them with as you see. If I press V for the units menu, view units and then I press I, you know, they don't have armour. Uh, although you know we do have weapons, so that's something good. We do have a, or uh, we do have weapons, and they have uh, rudimentary uh, skills. So it's okay. It's better than what it was last time. But we, we we do have a produce going, and we will be able to uh, actually get something done very soon. So we're gonna go ahead and start going down the earth uh, because it is fairly safe at the minute. Not hugely so, but it's well worth it. There could be uh, fun things down there. Uh, maybe some extra uh, minerals that we can mine. Maybe Forgotten Beasts. I did talk about Forgotten Beasts in a long, long part ago, but I won't bother talking about them again until I actually see one. Uh, and they're quite fun, quirky little things. So I might as well get straight into that. And we start Mika. We should hit a cavern, unless we're unlucky again and miss all of them. What's this here? Is that Malachite? Yes, it is. We have good golden barrel. Microcline, I believe I saw up there. Awful place, in fact, that's another blue uh, mineral. But something kind of useless. Oh, and an expansive cavern. And as well as that, I think we did hit cast rate as well. Uh, wow, we just hit like two caverns. Uh, again, we seem to have found a deep pit, which brings us to another cavern. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go down here, though, again, so I can see our origination. So, as I'm going to show you this, this here is cast rate. Uh, I believe it's the only mineral in the Phoebus pack that looks brown and looks like that. Uh, it's an ore of tin, one of the very few. Uh, well, ores of copper are a lot more frequent. Uh, ores of tin are pretty rare. It's cast rate is the only ore of tin. Uh, and with if uh, with uh, tin copper, if you ever played RuneScape or uh, you know stuff, you know you should know it can make bronze. Isn't that fun? So with bronze, uh, it's not as good as steel, but it's better than copper. And it's kind of on the same level as iron. Uh, so if if you don't have iron, you know, or steel, you know, it's a nice alternative. It's not great, but uh, it'll get the job done. It's certainly a lot better than copper. Copper's really, really bad. Uh, but we're not going to go ahead and bother and make that because we already have lots of nice stuff. Uh, so we don't really need to indulge in uh, that kind of thing. And by nice stuff, I mean we have uh, steel. So, <clears throat> pardon me, we don't need that. So I'm going to go ahead and see, is there a safe point to come into here? Well, to be fair, we don't really need to go into the cavern and terraform it uh, ever, to be honest. I mean, in, in my earlier playthroughs we did because, you know, it was kind of a necessity because we kind of uh, needed uh, stuff down there. But at the minute, well, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop uh, wall this off with up downstairs off the place. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dig all the way past this cavern into a further cavern. Was it up here? Maybe a bit more. Yeah, just a little, little bit more. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just the face. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. And here is our deep pit, which leads us to another cavern, which I may or may not hit. Let's also check the units menu to see if there's any nasties down here. Hmm, at the minute we don't see anything actually, uh, but that's okay. We are not fussed. So where the hell was I? Oh yeah, I was all the way up here. And there's some more castorite hanging around in the cavern, but as I said, we don't need it. We already have all the minerals that we need, really. So we're coming down here for uh, fun and adventure more than anything. Uh, and possibly water. If it does come to, if we find a watery cavern, we can use that in uh, in uh, later seasons, such as winter. Uh, if we don't have any water, we can come down here for water. So this is something also very useful uh, to be doing. It's not purely for fun. So we are going 60 down now, that's quite a bit. Uh, but we should be hitting more fun stuff soon. I'm also going to go ahead and bind the first cavern to control F1 as I always do. Oh, wow, that's actually the bottom of the map. As you can see, we can't go down anymore. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, like I said, the size of the map's very, very hugely. Uh, this one's only 70, whereas the one was, what, 140 or something? Uh, but if we ever do want to terraform it, we could probably start to go in from there. So I'm going to go ahead and call this cavern 1. And I'm going to go ahead and resume the game and let our little miners get along with mining that again. 
And we have found some more cast right here. It seems like this layer is, uh, ah, we've uh, brewed all of our drinks, uh, all of our plants now as well. So we have a lot of drinks. Uh, but it seems this layer is quite plentiful with uh, cast rate, which is quite a, quite a good thing. But again, we don't need it. But we can do something to, uh, you know, we can uh, we can still smelt it and uh, make some nice stuff with it. We can uh, do something like uh, put gems and some nice furniture made out of it or something. We've also hit native silver and have a nice little uh, mineral. Like I said, you can't you can't use that. Oh, wait, where's this rod of tide? Oh, okay, this isn't good. Uh, we've hit another civilization. As I said before, there was a civilization because we could see there was stuff on the map. Uh, but I don't know where we hit this raw adamantite. Wait, what the hell? Uh, okay, raw adamantite shouldn't be here. Uh, this is kind of really s crazy because, uh, like I said, adamantite is the rarest mineral in the game. Uh, and it's not something... It's something that there's always tubes in magma seas and really there shouldn't be adamantite in cavern layers this is something very rare sometimes there's even adamantite spires that grow out of the ground but this is like a total huge bug so uh yeah that's kind of crazy that's the first time i've ever saw something like that in a cavern uh <clears throat> pardon me so let's just go see where we came from again and i can go down there and i want to start mining the adamantite because like i said adamantite is sick and we do want it so it looks like we've came down here. And where were these bad people exactly? Oh, they're there. Damn. Okay, we definitely don't want to go any further. Okay, please stop digging down. Uh, ideally, I'd like to close this all up because this is kind of dangerous at the minute. Uh, we can close it up again with up down staircases. Uh, build construction up down staircase. And hopefully my miners will run because I do not want them to be here. Okay, it doesn't look like the bad women have sauce. Well, it's not just women, it's men as well. But yeah, like I said, civilizations, uh, these kind of primitive civilizations have stuff like, uh, you know, they have, uh, they, they do uh, have a civilization, you know, the, the trade stuff and the, you know, they have uh, stuff that they've killed from stuff down here, which is all, all cool. But we're not worried about that right now. We just want to, uh, block this up and so we're safe because although I might be able to take them on uh, with some good armor and some bad training right now it's not a good position for me to go into at all uh, but I definitely want to be down here because the adamantite is something hugely interesting uh, and you know more or less free adamantite so I definitely want to get that so I'm also going to go ahead and bind that in fact I'm just going to go down from here Hotkey, shift F2, cavern 2. And I don't need to write down out of my night because I'm gonna have a mental note of that for a few hours now. Because that surprised me. Oh, and that's nearly done, and that's nearly done. But they've somewhat reason kinda. Oh, there we go, there's one constructed. So I can go ahead and put this down. By the way, the reason sometimes if if I want to designate free up staircases here, you might I'm sure you've noticed before. Uh, but it will say blocked. No. Well, it's not going to say it this time, but... Uh, actually, yeah, I can't even really explain it now, but basically, I can't put down three at a time, like, there. I couldn't put three down at a time, because what it would do is, it, if, if, I, if that happened, I would have nowhere to stand. And that's why it doesn't let you do that. Because, you know, it's a bit hard to describe. It's a bit of point, points me uh, telling, you that, telling you this, but, you know, it's all worth it. Uh, so it looks like the bat people are still just chilling there, and they will be chilling there for a long while yet. They will give our our, our little dwarf some nice combat training as well. So let's go see how this is all going. So that's all going along nicely. I presume these are all linked up to the lever, so I'm going to go ahead and in fact pull the lever. Indeed they are. So let's pull the lever and see if our beautiful... Yeah, there we go. It works perfectly. So as you can see, that can open and close uh, access to our fort. We can let traders in. We can leave baddies out. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, I suppose that we can go ahead and put a little paved road here. In fact, can you put paved roads on? Oh, you can put paved roads on there. So I probably will put a paved road on there, but for now I'm going to leave it be. Oh, and you can put paved roads on top of paved roads. Cool. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that because there's, there's vertical bars there. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and make this out of 
I kind of want to make it entirely out of uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make it entirely out of coke just so it's a little bit more uh, it's a little bit more of a rarer material it looks a bit nicer and it's worth a little bit more as you can see we do have the wealth of our forest at the minute we only have what's that 24,000 of creative wealth that's not a huge lot uh, but it will start to mount up a lot uh, once we get w uh, production of weapons and that kind of thing uh, I don't know why, oh, that's that's why it isn't done. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I don't know why that hasn't done. Because I need to remove this first and then I can put it down. It's like I said, you cannot build diagonally. And it's something you just have to deal with, sadly. So I can remove them too. Oh, and something can survive this. As I mentioned in the first time when we died, is the first big, big wave. Oh my God, 22, that's a lot of people. Okay, so let's deal with this. Stone crafter. In fact, yeah, that's great. We're gonna get this stone crafter. Screw our old stone, our old stone, stone crafter. Let's see what else we have. We have a Shira slash metalsmith, more or less pointers. Uh, Miller, yeah, more or less pointers. We're gonna give them that. Bone doctor, more or less pointers. More or less pointers. Hmm, this guy's actually a diagnostician as well. He's got pretty bad skill now. But I'd like to get a, a diagnostician in uh, at some point. So this guy is engraver and organizer. Uh, so I'm hit. That's good. Having a talent, uh, a, a decently skilled stone detail is a good thing because uh, otherwise it does take quite a long time. So uh, a long time. So I can go ahead and give this guy farming uh, because you'll know, have more than one farmer. It's a very good thing. So even one farmer, even when he's high skilled, uh, won't be able to fill up a farm entirely. In odd, he has some decent uh, combat skills. I'm gonna go ahead and let him be our next combat dwarf. Uh, presser, kind of pointless. Let's see what this guy is. Weaver, kind of pointless. Well, when I'm saying kind of pointless, it's not really kind of pointless. It's a different industry of its own, but a lot of them aren't something hugely necessary at all. You know, you can make crafts out of it, you can, you can make food out of it, but there's no need to because, you know, there's stuff like beekeeping that got out in the game, but you can already make food. It's just an alternate, alternate way of doing stuff. You know, if you want to do that, uh, it might be more efficient. I've never tried it. Uh, it's something you can look into. Okay, Sibrek. Gem cutter. I'm going to leave him be. Oh, uh, another. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good at combat and stuff. So I'm going to let him be in my military as well. Hi, I'm Mr. Beekeeper. I mentioned Beekeeper before. Not something I want to indulge in. Waxwork. Uh, Shira. Indeed, I'm going to go do this to him. Uh, Trapper. Covia. What? Oh, yeah. Not the greatest of immigration waves, but it, it was it was an okay immigration wave. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, we've got a fair amount of mason slash stone crafters out of that, so that's all good stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and let them onto the map now. They're all going to flood in and then try and path in. Uh, and they'll obviously be able to come through here, which is my only entrance at the minute. Actually, will they? Yes, they will, uh, because this is a uh, brook. setting me up, I completely forgot. Okay, so I'm going to start putting the floor over here. Perfect. Just gonna make an entire of rock salt and I'm gonna go up a floor because there needs to be a roof on hospital. So I need to ensure there is one. Gonna go ahead and line this like that. And I'm gonna put walls at either side as well. This can also be kind of uh, used as a bridge for invaders and stuff, you know, it does act as a bridge, but uh, it's not something that matters because, you know, they can get across the river anyways fairly easy. It's just a little bit shorter of a walk, is all. Well, yeah, I can't do that right now, but I'm going to go ahead and assign these to be uh, removed. And I think that's everything we want to do with this part. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. In this part, we covered uh, going down into uh, caves, handling properly, finding adamantite. That's fun. Uh, and I did a migration with again. Well, I didn't really cover anything new, but again, it's uh, it's learning. I'm sure somebody learned something from this. Uh yeah, in the next part, I'm going to be trying to kit up our military. We're going to get our military together uh, and continue our production and stuff. Because, like I said, I do want to give them some nice weapons so I can start going into combat and training our military dwarves for uh, the nasties that await us in the future. Because people will come to kill you. And by people, I mean goblins. It's always going to happen. So, uh, see you in the next part, hopefully.